Let's just break this down real simple, try not to get hoity-toity. We can make eight to ten minutes work in a short film. This is what we know how to do. Let's make a movie that's like ten, eight to ten minute scenes in a row. It'll look like a feature, and and that'll be our first movie. Um, and so we set out to write The Puffy Chair, um, which was a movie that we kind of... Uh, reverse engineered i guess to be something that we could afford to make you know we wrote for what we call the available material school of filmmaking i was a musician and i had a van um i lived in an apartment uh my girlfriend at the time katie who was our star in the movie she had her own apartment and and she was from a small town in maine where her dad was a lovely black bag doctor who everybody loved and we could get things for free he's here right there sitting in the front row thank you papa appreciate that um, and, and so we're like, okay, let's write this movie and fit it in all these spots, you know? And then we wrote it, and we sent it to our agents, and, and a couple of them were like, tell you what, we could package this movie for you. And we're like, that sounds cool, what does that mean? Um, and they're like, you know, put like some kind of, you know, young movie stars in it, get you a couple million dollars to make it. And, and then we started talking to people, and they were like, yeah, that can take a long time to package movies. And we kept seeing these heartbreak stories of people like, just waiting forever to get their movies made. And so we asked our parents for $15,000 uh, to make the movie, and, and they gave it to us. And so we just went ahead and, and shot it ourselves. And there was this time where we were doing it because it was hard, it was painful, we weren't making any money. And we're like, maybe we should have tried to make this in a more traditional route. But it kind of worked out so well for us that we, you know, almost to this day, plus or minus, we've kind of stayed with that ethic. But to be clear, this movie, The Puffy Chair, that I've heard textbooks tout as a game changer, was literally approached as, oh, please, God, let us make a movie that doesn't suck. Yeah. Let's stack all the cards in our favor so that we can do something that doesn't suck. Please, please don't suck. So as you're putting, your, your parents gave you the money, was this something where you went and asked them for it or I mean most parents are yeah. like you want to do what you want to do what yeah I mean our parents are incredibly supportive of us I think that it was a little bit of an easier decision on their part because we had had three movies at Sundance already and we had a little bit of traction um, but we would not be you know sitting here if it were not for our parents and and that support and we you know we really encourage parents to do as much of that as they can uh, <laughs> it's really really helpful um, we also were like, um, you know, we were editing and, you know, killing ourselves for years. And I mean, you know, we definitely come from this mentality and we still are dealing with it, which is we have chosen to be artists. We have no right to pause or to play or to or order the eight dollar entree you anything. order the four dollar entree i mean you know we lived on street pizza and peanut butter and jelly and you know edited yeah, our, we destroyed our ourselves our for a long time and ruined ourselves so our i mean parents were like please take the money stop yeah, killing yourselves the mentality was very i don't know it's hard to describe uh sounds self-congratulatory right now but i mean you know it's just we were of the mindset where we were killing ourselves for a decade trying to make this thing happen so um I think everyone who knew us was like, yeah, please make a feature. I mean, the truth is, is like the reason we made the puffy chair is that Sundance called us and they were like, guys, we've had enough short films from you. Please make a feature. Mm -hmm. And in a weird way, we followed that method of like waiting for people to ask. Like we were living in Brooklyn and we were living in Austin and we were being flown out to L.A. a lot. And it wasn't until like Hollywood made it clear to us that we were going to be making a living here, that we moved here, you know? And it wasn't until Sundance said, make a feature, dude, you know? And it wasn't until tons of producers were like, can you move out of the $50,000 range of filmmaking, please, uh, that we even started to do that. 